Hi, everybody. I'm uh, here at the MEFS Global NAS event in Arlington, Texas, a very warm afternoon in Texas with Mirko Voltellini from uh, Colt. And uh, let's go for a quick walk. Hi, Jim. Yeah, hi. Good to see you. Good I know to see you too. Hot, hot day in Texas. Yeah, but nice, nice weather. Yeah. So wanted to ask you and get, get your opinion on network as a service, NAS. I mean, that's a, the big theme here for MEF and rolling out this blueprint. What, what's your opinion of, of NAS? Is it something really new or are we just giving new marketing names out there? I think it's something really new. If you think about how uh, enterprises, which are our primary customer, have been consuming services over the years, this is groundbreaking. Uh, it gives you the ability to orchestrate uh, services uh, across multiple domains and across multiple providers. Uh, and so you can create different uh, business outcomes with that. Uh, to, just to put it on practical terms, so imagine you can put together connectivity, cloud, uh, multiple public clouds, mm. uh, a multi-cloud solution, security, and maybe add, uh, I don't know, an IoT uh, play on, uh, on top of it uh, coming from a, another provider to create a specific outcome for the manufacturing industry, for example. So operators are, of course, under a lot of pressure to monetize their networks and to develop better services and APIs. It's seen as, as the pathway, then, yeah? Yes, of course. You have to. So this is one of the vehicles to actually create this type of uh, experiences. In the end, that's what I see NAS is uh, is a different way to consume services. API enables this uh, composition of different com uh, components, uh, service components together. Uh, to create this type of solution. So it enables uh, you to avoid to do the stitching manually outside the process. So, uh, of course, APIs are being used by many different people already, and there's several different um, initiatives, uh, TM Forum and uh, Linux Foundation and, and the rest. W where do you see MEF fitting in? So uh, MEF and the other, uh, the other uh, industry bodies uh, need to collaborate to create this type of uh, uh, glue between the different uh, different elements. Uh, MEF made a significant uh, uh, effort, uh, put significant effort to create these capabilities uh, with uh, with the LSO APIs uh, to enable carriers to actually work with each other. This is one of the components. Uh, so we need to go up into the stack uh, to also extend that to, to the public cloud and then create this ecosystem was referring to. Okay, and inside of your own company, inside of Colt, uh, how are APIs being used now and uh, what's the pathway forward? So we started very early. We built our NAS uh, proposition actually already in 2015. Uh, it's called Colt On Demand. Uh, we had in mind since the beginning to enable other providers to be part of this ecosystem through APIs. Uh, so then eventually we implemented initially our own proprietary APIs and then built the MEF API, which have been pushing the industry to adopt as a common way to uh, connect with each other. I mean, one of the main problems here is the fact that uh, if you continue to use different way of uh, talking to each other, then it becomes quite difficult and cumbersome to create these this ecosystems. I see. And, and uh, what has been the response from customers? Uh, I mean, it has been great. Uh, so we are trying to solve uh, a complex problem, which is the one that the telecom industry is very fragmented. Uh, so across multiple different uh, geographies and we have uh, customers with global needs so you don't mm -hmm. want a customer to to be forced to actually go from supplier a to supplier b supplier c and, and stitch everything together so we're solving a real problem for customers and how about uh, from other partners how, how is that ecosystem growing and uh, are they are there more that you're seeing uh using that kind of automation yes i must admit it has been difficult in the beginning to actually get uh, sufficient uh, core uh, uh, participants into the uh, into the project uh, but with the help of uh, some other providers uh, together we've been able to start to actually reach critical mass uh, i think we're at a point where we're going to grow now nicely uh, there is significant momentum uh, with adoption of dmf uh, lso api so i think it's going to get better and better okay fantastic and finally you know what what comes next uh, how, how do you how do you build this how do you progress it forward so, as I said, I think we shouldn't stop uh, just at uh, the connectivity layer and we need to go up in the stack to create the specific outcomes. So we need to also go up into the ecosystem uh, outside the telecom space and involve other providers. So this, this, this approach will enable us to actually go beyond just pure connectivity.
Okay, well, fantastic. Mirko, thank you for joining us today. Thanks to you, Jim. All right, see you next time. See you next time. All right, bye.